we all agree that it's, it's the cancer within the whole system of Zimbabwe. But we appear unable to pinpoint it, and everyone just glosses over the issue. And uh, I thought, no, your client, that now moved the responsibility onto the banks who you represent for them to make sure this kind of thing doesn't happen, as do in other countries. And just here next door in, 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 in SADC, we don't have the same sort of problems we have in here, but no one seems to be able to control it or say it is a problem. In your original presentation, it wasn't even mentioned. My second question is we now have four auction rates between, between, I don't know, 330 up to 600 in, from auction to willing buyer, willing seller, the interbank rate, and then the parallel rate. My question is, don't you think this is a driver to both the, the major devaluation of the currency, which is devaluated, I don't know, uh, to a third of its value since the beginning of the year, whether you using the official rate or the parallel rate. Now my question is, those people benefiting from the auction rate, they are mostly, if not all, <coughs> importers of goods. They import goods. What mechanism have the banking system got in place that those people benefiting from the auction exchange rate are actually pricing on their product on the shelf at a reasonable rate. Because it appears whether a person gets his money on the auction rate or on the <coughs> parallel market, all prices seem to be, for oil for example, or anything, seem to be around about the same mark. So what is the benefit to the auction, to the auction rate? Where is that money going? I, I believe everyone's pricing at the parallel rate and bidding on the auction rate. Can you, can you explain how you check on the pricing <coughs> all the goods being imported into the country. Thank you.